Hello and welcome to a new series. I'm so excited to play these games. I'm going to continue playing the other ones I'm playing on my channel, obviously, but I got these games because there was a huge Steam sale and obviously I had to play it. I will apologize for my voice. Uh, my allergies are getting the best of me, so I am suffering a little bit in the nose and throat department, but I promise um, I'll get better eventually. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> so um, just trust that I'm I'm, I'm fine. I just really, really, really wanted to play these games. And so we're going to be playing Sally Face. This is one of my all-time favorite games. I've never physically played it myself, but I have watched Jacksepticeye play it, and I absolutely fell in love with it. And me and my best friend um, cosplay from it. Um, if I feel like it, maybe I'll put a picture up, but I cosplay Sally. So um, Sally is very dear to my heart. This game is very dear to my heart. So I'm extremely excited to just get going so here we go first of all I love the soundtrack it was just like the last time only this time it started in a hospital also not ready for how scary everything is just saying <laughs> like that <laughs> bruh <laughs> it's a phone hello hello it's okay Sal Everything is going to be okay now. Come and see. Uh... Who is this? <laughs> Sal, come and find me. Weird. Sounded like my dad. Uh... Okay, so this was... Looks like something's there, but it's too dark to see. Okay, so let's go cut on the light. A dog! It's locked. Okay, light switch. A light switch. A light switch. Look at us and look at our little feet. A key! A key! <laughs> we're on this. We're on the same mindset, Sal, already. We are. We are. Yes. Can I use it? How do I use it? Does it, can I just automatically? Oh. I don't actually know how to play. What? I know how to play puzzle games. I also haven't watched Sally Face in forever. I normally rewatch it every so often, but I haven't. So I don't remember the beginning. I really only remember the end because the last chapter came out, I guess a while ago, but I only recently watched it because I couldn't bring myself to let it end. <laughs> okay, what's in this room? Okay. P. Do we need to spell the word open? Oh. E. Okay. So how do I know which is the right one? A, B, C, D? Okay, so D was the right one. D, P. No, it wasn't P. Which one did I do? D, O. D, O. What word? D, O, G? Dog? dog. Okay, funeral time. Why is there a funeral outside the hospital? I feel like that's not where funerals are held. Hey, found a dog. Who's a good doggy? Who's a good boy? Oh my god, I buried her alive, kid. You tell me. Huh? Go see for yourself. Uh, over here? Diane Fisher, 1948 to 1984, beloved mother and wife. Okay, I guess we're going in the grave. Don't really like, oh. It's locked. Yeah, I figured. Passcode. Oh, jeez. Two, three, four. Oh. <laughs> I think I broke it. I wonder if that was supposed to happen or not. Hey, you look like me. Dad? Oh, you are not my son. My son is not a murderer. Uh, oh, oh, this is you. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Mom? Are you? Oh no! Oh, gross! Oh, 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 don't 
like that. And that's when I woke up. Hmm. Yes, it's an interesting dream. I think we should come back to that dream later, but for now, can you tell me more about the body? Which one? The second one. The one from the apartment. Oof. Dad and I had just moved in. I had a weird feeling about that place right away. Addison Apartments, Episode 1, Strange Neighbors. Oh yeah. Look at us! We're so cute! This will be our new beginning. We can finally leave what happened in New Jersey behind us now. Why don't you go explore the building and make some friends while I finish unpacking? Okay. Look at us! We're so cute! Leave. Um, let's go explore our room. Gizmo! I see you say you've made yourself at home already, Gizmo. Just be nice. Oh, must be nice. <laughs> I already can't read. My gear boy. I was wondering where that was. I got my gear boy. That's why you explore puzzle games. That way you can pick things up. Nothing else that way. Oh, hi dad. Hey kiddo. Decided to take a break from unpacking? It's not a bad idea. We've been at it for a while now. Maybe I'll take a break myself. Um, what do you think about this place? It may not be as nice as our old house, but we'll make the best of things. As long as we have each other, I think we can make a real home here. That's a good attitude. Um, I miss Jersey, though. I know you do, bud, but please try to give it a chance. School will start in a, up in a couple of weeks, and then you'll all... You'll, I can't read! You'll be able to make all new friends. Yeah, I guess so. Going to a new school is hard, though. I know so. Anyone would be lucky to have you as a friend, Sal. Oh, thanks, Dad. Mm-hmm. That's a good, that's a good, no, all parents say that. Yeah, me too, buddy, me too. See ya. Try not to get into too much trouble. Um, I hate to break it to you, bud, but there's a coin behind you. I want it. I guess I can't have it. So I mean I have to come back later to get the coin. I just have a feeling I have to, you know? Bathroom? Ew, did someone forget to flush the toilet? Oh, sleep aid. Dad still has trouble sleeping at night after. Can I take it? Oh, I guess I don't need it. <laughs> I guess you don't need things till they're relevant, right? That makes sense. Bags? Just some stuff Dad got from the store, nothing important. Okay. I don't understand the black and white checkered floors of kitchens. Why is that a thing? Is there like lore? I guess I should say history, but is there like lore behind that? Oh! Hello! I hate cops, man. Look at how scary he looks. And ugly. Uh, why are you standing here? I'm protecting nosy little freaks like you from seeing what they ought not to see. Now scram, I don't get paid to babysit. Um, who are you though? Oh, I'm your fairy godmother. What does it look like? I'm an officer of the law, so you better show me some respect. Um, that doesn't, that doesn't mean you get my respect because you're being really rude right now. It seems like you don't respect me, so I'm not gonna respect you. That's how I work around here. Uh, what happened in that room? Police business, kid. Why don't you run along back to your parents? I wish I could. What was that? Nothing? That's what I thought. Stupid weirdo kid, grumble grumble. Um, you seem like someone I don't want to talk to anymore actually, so I'm glad I don't have any more dialogue options with you. No one's home. Okay, no one lives next to us, good to know. And there's a murder on the other side of the elevator. Joy, okay, we were on floor four. So I guess let's go up first and then go back down. That way I remember where I've been. Oh, locked. Oh, don't be scary, don't be scary, don't be scary. Uh-uh, hello? Sorry, I didn't think anyone lived up here. Hello, sir, are you okay? Um, uh, you shouldn't have come here. I'm sorry, I was just trying to get to know my new neighbors and a dark place. 
this building. Horrible things happen. Are you sure you're okay? Hello. <laughs> oh, what the? Who knocked on the door? That's weird, the bathroom door is locked. Why were you sitting on the newspapers, bud? Um. Okay. Good talk. Good talk. Good. Good talk. It wasn't a good talk. I'm lying. Locked. The other one locked. Locked. Okay. Well, that was we. Um. That would. That didn't. Doesn't seem like it bodes well for me. You know. So, joy. Oh no, the scariest part of the game. Wet floor. I can't go past it. There's a guy over there though. Oh, why can't I go? No one's home. Hi, lady. Hey. Oh my. Sorry, you just startled me a little. You must be one of the new guys from 402, yeah? With all the excitement going on today, I haven't had a chance to stop in and say hi. Yeah, it's just me and my dad. My name is Sal. Pleasure to meet you, Sal. I'm Lisa. I take care of this place. I keep things up and running. So if you ever need help with anything, don't hesitate to ask, okay? Sure, thanks. You're quite welcome. Can I talk more? Hey, Lisa. Hey, Sal, what's up? Um, how long have you been working here? Actually, I don't just work here. I live here, too. I'm on call 24-7 for any urgent maintenance needs. Despite what you might hear from others, this is a lovely building. I'm happy to call it home. Going on 10 years now. Oh, that's lovely, Lisa. Seems like a nice place. You betcha. What do the others say about the building? Oh, all kinds of stuff, I'm sure. This building is well over 100 years old, you know? People are always complaining about one thing or another. But you'll hear no complaints from me. I'm a woman of action. If I see a problem, I fix it. Yeah, most people do seem to complain a lot about small things. You can't sweat the small stuff, Sal. It's just no way to live, you know? You're right. Take it from me. You focus on the good stuff. Focus on what makes you happy in this life. Put your energy into that. Aw. Um, so do you know anything about what happened in 403? It's a shame you and your dad had this crummy first impression. I promise things aren't typically so gruesome around here. Poor Mrs. Sanderson. Who's Miss Sanderson? Oh, never mind that. Best not to set your mind on such dreadful things. Um, is there anything to do for fun around here? You know what? I have a son around your age. I think you two would get along great. He's downstairs in our apartment. You should go introduce yourself. Sure, I'll go say hi. Great! His name is Larry. He'll be in the basement. Tell him I sent you down. You'll need a key card to access it from the elevator, though. Here, take this one. I've got a few extras. Cool, thanks. I wanted to... Is this building haunted? Sal, sweetie, I've been taking care of the Addison Apartments for a long time, and I've never seen any ghosts or goblins. It's just people's overactive imaginations. Too much sweets and scary movies, if you ask me. Okay, I'll see you around. I guess I'll attempt to believe you, because I really don't like to consider the alternative that you're wrong. Let's go down to- f I'm- I'll wait to go to the basement. I want to explore everything I possibly can before I do that. No one's home. Uh, yeah? Who's there? Hello. I'm new in the building. Just wanted to make- introduce myself to the neighbors. Okay, come in. Is this gonna be scary? Oh. Oh. How long have you been sitting in that chair? Hi, my name is Sal. I just moved in today with my dad. What the heck's with your face, child? Oh, I know. Young teens. A new generation of self-expression. I was young once myself. I get it. Just so long as you're not in a gang or anything. You're not in a gang, are you? No, no. It's nothing like that. Wonderful. Well, I'm Charlie. Don't mess with my stuff and we'll be okay. I'm a collector, you see. I collect many things. I can see that. These things are like my family. So if you mess with my collections, you're messing with my family, got it? Yes, sir, not a problem. I won't be giving you any troubles. Good to hear. Okay, I don't want to be here. <laughs> like, I, I, I get it, because I love collecting things, but also not, um, not my thing. No one's home. 
Not many people live here. Hmm, I guess no one is home. What was that noise? I shouldn't have been talking over it, you know? But also, if I talk over it, I don't have to witness too much scary, you know? I don't want to be scared. <laughs> I should know it's coming, but it still hurt. It still hurts me. Let's go to the very... Oh, hi. What's going on? Hello, young man. You just moved in today, correct? Yes, sir. I already spoke with your father. Seems you two were out of state when everything happened last night. Story checks out. That's good. Try not to get in our way for now, okay? We're investigating a serious crime. Uh, was it murder? I can't talk about that. Okay, then I don't want to talk to you. So long. <laughs> no one's home. Addison. Oh dear, what a frightful... Uh, pardon me. Let's start over. Hello, young sir. New resident of Addison. I didn't realize he was talking about me until <laughs> just now. Did you say I was frightful? How rude. Hello, young sir. New resident of Addison Apartments, room 402. How may I be of service? Um, how do you know who I am? I know all that takes place within these walls, sir. It'll do good to remember that. Um, can I come in? Heavens no, I'm afraid that I'm quite p particular about my privacy. I'm sure you understand. Sure. Um, bye. Farewell, friend. You seem nice, even though, um, I only saw you out of people. No one's home. Someone's home? Yeah? What do you want? A little early for trick-or-treating, isn't it? Err. Stupid good for nothing kids. <laughs> um, okay. Let's go down to the basement and meet Larry. Beep. Bing, bing. Laundry? Gee, I sure am looking forward to using this. Not... No, I didn't mean to give Sal a southern accent. It just happened. Because sometimes I have a southern accent. <laughs> because I'm from the south. <sighs> oh, that chair looks nasty. Vending machine. Lots of tasty junk food. Not really hungry, though. 1B. Oh, they live down here all by themselves? Maybe I didn't realize that. Oh, pizza. It's locked. Of course. I'm gonna snoop around their house before Larry realizes I'm here. Is there anything in this chest? Let's check out your bathroom. Why did the, why does it, are the toilets just designed that way? Or like, does everyone just not know how to flush? That's nasty. Huh? <laughs> what was that? I don't wanna know, to be honest. I don't need to know. I'm okay. Everything's okay. Everything is a okay. Hey, Larry. Yeah? Hey, uh, Larry, your mom said I should come say hi. I just moved into 402. Oh, hey, come on in. Door's open. Oh, sick room. Whoa, nice mask. <laughs> it's a prosthetic. Oh, sorry, man. It's cool. I'm used to much worse by now, so I'm glad you like it. Oh, it's alright. Just look at all the posters. Look at how cool that is. I have a lot of posters in my room, but they're not, like, cool or edgy like that. They're, like, the map of Stardew Valley. <laughs> so, do you, like, have no face under there? What happened? I'd rather not talk about that. Okay, change of subject. I'm Larry. I live down here with my mom. I'm Sal. My friends call me Sally Face. I just moved here with my dad from New Jersey. Sally Face? I guess I didn't really have any decent friends, to be honest. So once they started calling me that, I figured if I owned the name, then they couldn't use it against me. I believe that's probably worked. Maybe, I don't know. You're a complicated dude, aren't you, Sal? Pretty strange. I like you. We're gonna get along great. Ha, <laughs> that's what your mom said too. Mother knows best. Um, why do you live in the basement? My mom always says it's because we gotta guard the place from rats. But I'm pretty sure she gets this room rent free with the maintenance gig. Well, that's a good reason to live down here. And to guard from the rats, man. Keep those rats safe and keep us safe from the rats. It's cool though. I don't mind it. I get to listen to music as loud as I want to when she's not around. Nice. Yeah, it's like my own little bat cave. Um. I like your shirt. 
Thanks, it stands for Sally Face. <laughs> I do have my own clothing line, so. <laughs> it's actually for this metal band called Sanity's Fall. Do you like metal? I don't know. Oh, that's gotta change. Check out this song. It's their first single. The full album comes out in a few months. Get ready for some epic tunes, bro. Yeah! Squad! Rock! <laughs> Everyone knows I can never be hype man. Yeah! Get it! Whoa! <laughs> We're headbanging. We're headbanging. Nice music. Okay, I'm gonna cut it short there because I want to keep talking. <laughs> um, what happened in 403? Shh! Not so loud, man. What? What is it? The killer is still in the building. How do you know that? I saw it happen. Are you high right now? I wish I was, man. That was some scary stuff. What happened? Okay, so, I was helping Miss Sanderson with a clogged toilet. I was just finishing up when I heard him burst in, yelling like a lunatic. I know what you've done! Herman told me everything, you stupid- She tried to calm him down, but before she could even get a few words out, he was cutting her throat wide open. I was shocked. I couldn't move. I was frozen by fear, man. Just peeking through the crack in the bathroom door. Anyways, it all happened so fast, and then he cleaned up quickly and left. I don't know how, but he didn't even see me. I haven't really told anyone yet. Not even my mom. But I trust you. You've known me for all of two seconds, but I really appreciate that you trust me, Larry. Um, you know who did it? Yeah, it was definitely Charlie, the creeper from 204. He's wearing gloves, so I don't think they got any prints or anything. So it was premeditated because he wore gloves. <coughs> um, shouldn't you tell the cops? I actually tried to talk to that detective, but he won't listen to me without some kind of evidence. Like my word isn't enough. <laughs> um, what's up with the guy in the 103? That's Mr. Addison. He owns this place. I don't think I've ever seen him leave his room. Always talks through his mail slot. He's a nice dude, just real strange. Oh yeah, if you say Addison tea, please and thank you to him, he'll give you a cup of his famous tea. I hate the stuff myself, but the adults seem to love it. Okay. Um, sick. Well, I think that's where I'm going to end this episode, because we've met everybody, and then in the next episode, we will get in, we will dive in, we will get in, we will figure out the murder of Addison Apartments. <laughs> Although, we're pretty sure it's Charlie, because we literally have an eyewitness right here, but now we're going to find some evidence for him that should probably be pretty substantial, so... I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. I hope you have a good day, good week, good year, good life. Goodbye.